I can't believe those cats. Seriously. Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel one more time. This is Carla, simply Carla. Today you're going to learn how I make my reaction videos. This way I'm going to teach you is like literally so freaking easy, practical. Seriously, I make videos like in 20 minutes. So the program I use for this is StreamYard. I am not sponsored, of course. I'm gonna walk you through how it is. Okay, so basically what you're going to do is to just open and type StreamYard in Google search or whatever search, and you're gonna just enter. If this is the first time you hear about StreamYard, well, this is basically like an online service that you can use for free. And this is designed especially for you to live stream. You can live stream to any social media you have. You can link it to several accounts. Well, basically the only thing you have to do is to press create a broadcast. And here, as you can see, this is my Facebook and two YouTube accounts I have that are linked to this StreamYard account. To record reaction videos and make like an actual YouTube video, we're going to go to click in this page that says skip record only, right? And the title is gonna be like, I don't know, example reaction. So we create a broadcast. This automatically creates a, like a room, right? Like a studio. I'm there, as you can see, mic and camera are plugged in, everything's connected, everything's working apparently. Uh, mic is working, as you can see. Those are like my sound levels going up, whatever. So everything seems to be pretty much okay, right? So we're gonna enter the studio. Well, I already have this background and this logo that I set myself. As I told you, I have the paid version and there are some uh, little features that only with the paid version you can get. Still doesn't matter because the essentials and what you want this for, you can get this for free. I just got the paid version last month. I've been using this for free for a long time. So yeah, I know this works. Here below we have our little camera and audio and we're going to add to stream. So there we are. Hey! <laughs> and we're going to react to something. This is the trick. We're going to open a new tab, a YouTube tab, or whatever you want to react to, you just open it. Well, let's, let's try with this <laughs> beautiful rain. Let's react to rain, okay? <laughs> this has to be like the most boring video ever. Uh, the thing is that, okay, we open our rain video, and now we are going to share screen. I'm already sharing screen to show you how I share screen, if it makes sense. I'm going to show you how I share screen and we're going to make that video you want to react to or whatever you want to react to appear in the same studio as we are. So we just go to share and we go to share screen. So you have different options here. You have entire screen, which is basically, yes, your entire screen, but this is not very good for privacy. Like when you are shooting a YouTube video and then you get a notification like, hey, your mom says, don't forget to unfrost the chicken and everyone can see it. So I don't recommend this one, but if you are making a tutorial like this one, maybe yes, I am using this one right now because I need you to see what buttons I'm pressing and everything, right? However, when I want to react to a YouTube video, I just go to Chrome tab, and these are all the tabs you have open in Chrome. So you basically select, well, this is the rain video, apparently it's in Chinese or something. You, you click it. Always remember to click this little one because this can really ruin the whole recording. Share audio, don't forget, this is crucial. And then you go to share. So congratulations, now you're sharing this to the studio. As you can see here, we have this setup in which I appear in just in the side and you have the video which is playing. And well, you can control it what, however you want. You can just go back to the beginning and just normal. We have this setting, but there are many settings. If you just want to appear yourself speaking, you have this one. You can even have guests. I can't show you that display because I have no guests, <laughs> but I promise I will when I have. So we have also the option of the entire screen. If you don't want to appear on screen, you can appear just there or you can appear bigger than the screen because it's a reaction video. Just assume that people already saw the video. So now they want to see your reaction to it. So your face is going to be pretty important in this video. So yes, this is also a very, very valid one for reaction videos. 
However, I like to stick to this one. This is my favorite one and I'm going to explain you why. For a reaction video, it's crucial that people can actually see your face. If they have to work to see your face and they're like, mm, looking at this little square that you are, they're not gonna like it. Because a lot of people even watch from their phones, like, like how small are you going to be? No, you have to show like a big face because they want to see you react to it. That's why they're here. I wanted to go the extra mile because Webcam quality is always webcam quality. So I am basically going to record. Okay, so I'm going to show you my setup. Here I have the lights, the computer, my webcam, which is recording me, and also my Sony CV1. I also have a podcast microphone here. I'll just explain you why I'm doing this. This is something I wanted to do because I wanted to go the extra mile. I wanted to increase quality in this video. So that's why I'm using my Sony CV1 to record my face and then in the editing phase I'm just going to put this footage overlaying the camera part of my StreamYard footage and then I use the two of them together. So the only difference is that I'm just going to have this 4K kind of quality in my face. This is something I wanted to do because I wanted to increase the quality of the video but you don't have to do it. Like You are well just with the StreamYard, like that's how I started Then I wanted to upgrade and that's why I'm doing this. We have everything working, we have the camera, we have the microphone, so we're just going to hit record here. Start recording, record, and recording started. So now you say, oh wow, this rain is so wet, wow, it's so unique. I can't believe how it waters the plants, wow, I am so impressed. Anyway, you finish your reaction and you go to end broadcast. Broadcast has ended. It just click the duck again. We're going to go to past broadcast. And here we have it, example reaction. So we just go to download recording and you're gonna have the file so you can use it just however you want to make it. This is pretty much how it works. It's not rocket science, it's great. It's easy, it's fast, it's simple, it's free. Now, there's a bit of a catch here. This recording feature I showed you belongs to the paid version. It's I think it's like 25 bucks a month. I didn't have the paid version because I had a screen recorder. If you don't want to pay the monthly fee, you are going to need a screen recorder. If you have a screen rec recorder, you are going to be just fine. It's the same thing, okay? You don't need to pay it. <laughs> but if you want to pay it, sure. Why do I do it? Because I just like to play with all these effects, with all these uh, backgrounds. Yeah, this is pretty much it. I hope this was useful. I really recommend doing this, uh, especially when you are a very small YouTuber like I am for now. <laughs> Uh, but it can get you started. Uh, you have a base that, like when you react, you are reacting to things that already exist. So you don't have to create everything from scratch, which can be very, very overwhelming when you are just trying to get over yourself and get speaking to the camera. It can help you take one task at a time when you are starting YouTube. And yes, it's, it's also something that people really like to watch. Make sure to make a video entertaining and to be very lively and high energy. I am not speaking very loud right now because it's like 4 a.m. and only the cats are making noise outside. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you. And if you want to learn more or you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching.